Hello everybody, this is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy. Today we are going to explain about Environmental Studies Class 4 CBSE Syllabus. Today's our topic is Omna's Journey. Omna's Journey. Omna and her best friend Radha were very excited. They are going on a train trip to Kerala. Omna was going to her grandmother's house and Radha was going with her family for a holiday. Omna's father had gone to book train tickets for both the families. Then, just two days before their journey started, Radha fell down from her bicycle and fractured her right leg. Her legs were put in plaster. The doctor said that she should not move her legs for six weeks. Radha's families had to cancel their tickets. Their two friends were very sad. They had made so many plans about what they would do do together on the trip. Then Radha's Amma had an idea. Omna, why don't you write down everything about your trip in a diary? Then when you come back, Radha can read all about your trip. This away you will not forget anything and it will also help you to pass the time on the train. Both the friends thought this was a good idea. Omna went home and found a notebook with a blank pages to write all about her journey. Her, here are some pages from Omna's diary for you to read. Let us see what Omna wrote in her diary. He wrote, he started writing like this. As soon as we had reached the station, we checked our names on the reservation chart. Soon the train reached the platform, we saw that the coach was already full. The train had started early in the morning from Gandhidam in Kutach. When the train came, there was so much confusion. People were getting off and others were pushing and trying to put their luggage inside. All from one door only. We somehow managed to get in, find our seats and put our luggage under them. By that time, the train started. Most of the people had found their seats and arranged their luggage. After some time, the ticket collector came and checked our tickets to see that we were in our proper seats or not. Amma and Appa had the lower berths. Unni and I have the middle berth. There are two college students who have the upper berths. On the other berth, there is a family with two children. They seem to be about our age. I will go and talk to them later. I think like that. Now, I am sitting near the window and I have started writing about our journey trip. Just as I, I had promised to you. I will stop now because Amma has opened the tiffin box. Amma had packed a lot of food. Dolka with chutney, lemon rice and some mint. Maitya. My mouth is watering. I will write more after eating this tiffin. After lunch, some people slept. But I was not sleepy. I kept looking out of the window. I saw many fields but they all were brown and dry. Sometimes we passed small villages also. They seemed to be flying by. Do you know that when the train is at a very high speed, things outside to be running in the opposite direction. Earlier it was really hot. Now that it is evening, there is some breeze. The sun is slowly setting and the sky has becoming orange. I have never seen it look like this is in Ahmedabad. We have just passed a station called Valsad. The train stopped for only a two minutes but even the short time there was so much noisy means chai, garam chai like that. One man was calling batia, vada, bata vada like that and puri, chapati like that. So, so many people were selling and buying food on the platform. We quickly brought some bananas and threw the window itself. I have made some friends. There are Sunil and Anand. They are going to their grandmother's house in Kauzi Kode. Sunil has given me some story books to read. A little while ago, I went to brush my teeth, but there was no water in the bathroom. Somebody said that it will only be filled at the next station. These are the some of the experience Omni shared and wrote in his diary when she is in the trip of his journey. Thank you. 
This is Nanduram and we are from Sono Academy.